Hello friends and welcome back to the video. So you want to add black bars to your video in DaVinci Resolve. No problem, you can do it for free and I'm going to show you a few ways on how to do it. Let's go. Okay, so let's do it. I'm in DaVinci Resolve right now. This is the clip I want to add black bars to, but you know, you can add black bars to your whole project is very very easy what you have to go and do go to effects over here and then look for adjustment clip okay otherwise just go to search and just search adjustment clip and it's going to come here okay just drag it put it at the beginning of your timeline or of your clip just make the timeline a little bigger so you can see what's going on make it bigger like this put it at the beginning okay let's make this timeline a little bit smaller so we see what we're doing and then drag it till the end so let's assume this is my timeline this is the, the whole project or this is the, cl the clip i want to add my black bars to no problem so what you have to go and do now go on the right top corner over here go to cropping press on crop you see over here should be toggled on if it's not and then it's as simple as crop top and crop bottom so what you have to do you have to go probably about you have to drag it drag it sort of i don't know maybe depends how far you want to go but i think like for a cinematic look i would go to about 325 i would say and then if you're gonna go and copy this command c or control c and then command v over here to the bottom press enter and then you have this cinematic bars over here and this is done it's pretty much done and then if you want to look cool and impress your friends what you can do actually go at the beginning of this adjustment clip go and reset everything here okay just go and reset that will get rid of the bars so what we're going to do now we're going to go and actually keyframe this so i'm going to go and press this diamond of here on the top and then move my playhead about 10 frames so you can move it with your mouse like this one two three four five six ten or if you want to be more precise go back and do it with your arrow keys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen somewhere there okay and at this point i want to introduce here the value that it was before here crop top three two five crop bottom three to five and look what's happening here when i do this so if i go back to my playhead look at this boom okay and then boom so basically the more i move but the playhead after i touch this diamond over here the slower this is gonna be i mean this is quite a cool effect you know it, it works you can impress your friends why not okay and this is done this is the first way of introducing black bars cinematic black bars if you want to look at this in full screen we can watch it again okay this is pretty pretty good and uh, you know look at this pretty good okay um, right now what we need to go and do I'm gonna go and disable this and press D and then once I disable the adjustment clip this is disappearing okay I'm gonna go and move this out of the way and there is actually another way on how to add black bars but this is actually on a timeline level so this is pretty easy and super fast for this what you have to go and do just go to timeline over here Okay, go to timeline, press on timeline and go all the way down to output blanking. And then what is cool about this, here you can actually choose the aspect ratio you want to add the output blanking. So let's say I want a very super cinematic 2.35 aspect ratio. Once I did this, straight away my entire timeline is going to take this aspect ratio. Pretty cool, pretty cool pretty incredible and you see these are two ways on how to add black bars so black bars to your project it's cool it's amazing but you have to keep in mind one very important thing let's say your project is in 4k 16 by 9 aspect ratio right but the problem is with adding black bars let's say you want to create your project for a phone or for a 16 by 9 screen what if someone takes your video and watches on a 
big TV screen. On an 8K TV screen, what he's gonna see, he's gonna see a video like this with black bars. So your video is not gonna go on the full screen because of these two black bars. And it happened to me when actually I made my first film and I put this black bars thinking that wherever this film is gonna be shown, I'm gonna have a 2.35 aspect ratio. But it's not true. You know why? If I go now to my settings over here, to this gear icon, and I can show you that my timeline resolution is 4K in 16 by 9. Okay? So this is always going to be a 16 by 9 aspect ratio project. Okay? I've got a video that explains aspect ratio and resolution in more details. But the best way to add black bars is actually to make your project in the right aspect ratio. So if I want this to look cinematic, I probably want to have my project done in a 2.35 aspect ratio. Let's go back to the timeline, okay, to output blanking, go and reset. Get back to reset, okay? So here we are. This is my project now in a 16 by 9 um, aspect ratio. I need to change the aspect ratio to have it in a cinematic mode. For this, what I need to go and do, I'm gonna go and go to my timeline over here. I'm gonna go and click the right click of the mouse, go to timeline, go to timeline settings, and then go to timeline resolution. As you can see here, I've got the timeline that uses project settings. I don't want that. I want to untoggle this off. And again, check the video that is gonna be in the description here that explains everything in detail. But for now, I'm gonna go quickly here and change my aspect ratio of the video. I still want it to be in 4K, but I want it to be in 2.39, okay? So I go down here, I should find the setting for a 2.39 4K. Here we are. So this is a 4K DCI scope 2.39. So this project is gonna be straight away in this cinematic um, aspect ratio. So if I go and click OK, straight away, look what I see. Okay, so now you'd say, Nick, but this is ridiculous. What is this? Well, it's okay, don't worry. This is the real cinematic ratio, aspect ratio. Yes, there's no black bars because when I get this clip over here, okay, I need to make it the full width of my aspect ratio of the resolution, okay? So here we are. Now, you see the shape? And now when I play this on any screen, the black bars will appear automatically, all right? And if I go now and put this in full screen, you can see that it automatically adds black bars over here. You know why? Because I'm watching now on a 16 by 9 screen, which is a wide screen, and you see now it doesn't have any black bars. But if I go in full screen, and you see, and I play it, and you see it get, it has this naturally occurring black bars. I don't need to add any black bars because the video already is in the aspect ratio that creates black bars no matter on what device I'm watching, it will always have the natural, you know, black spaces here, the black bar there. So that's the trick. I hope it helps. And that's all, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. And just keep in mind, you know, if you're doing this for a quick video on your Instagram or, or shorts or reels or TikTok or YouTube, it's fine. Just add quickly the two black bars and that's all. You're good to go. But if you're not planning to make a short film, a documentary, and you have to make sure you are creating that project in a proper aspect ratio, because this is what gives the video, the black bars, the aspect ratio of the project, not just because you want black bars and people put black bars when they make films, not at all. So I hope this video helps. And if it does, and if it did, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, leave me a comment below if you're, you know, want to leave me a comment or if you want to leave me a question or, you know, just say hi, why not? Thanks so much guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Happy creation. Bye-bye.